Who was D.B. Cooper and where did he vanish to? Let's set the stage for one of the most enigmatic unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. We're talking about none other than D.B. Cooper, the infamous skyjacker who, in the autumn of 1971, commandeered a Boeing 727, secured a substantial ransom, and then leaped into the chilling night, never to be seen again. The man known to us as D.B. Cooper was not a figure of public prominence before his audacious act. He was an enigma, a ghost, a cipher wrapped in a riddle. In the days following the hijacking, his face was plastered on every news outlet, yet no one could claim to know him. His true identity remains a mystery to this day. The story of D.B. Cooper is not just about a hijacking, it's a tale of audacity, cunning, and the human fascination with the unknown. A man who vanished into thin air, leaving behind only questions. One quiet afternoon, a man, a plane, and a plan. On the day of November 24, 1971, a nondescript man walked into the Portland International Airport, carrying with him a briefcase and a false name, D.B. Cooper. He purchased a one-way ticket to Seattle on Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305, a short and typically uneventful 30-minute hop. Little did anyone know, this man was about to turn an ordinary day into a page of history. Once aboard the Boeing 727, the man who would become known as D.B. Cooper, calmly lit a cigarette and ordered a bourbon and soda. He was seated at the rear of the plane dressed in a business suit, appearing as just another commuter among the 36 other passengers. Yet, hidden beneath this mundane facade was a plot that would keep the world guessing for decades. As the plane thrust into the sky, D.B. Cooper handed a note to Florence Schaffner, the flight attendant closest to him. The note, which she initially tucked away unopened, thinking it was just a lonely businessman's number, revealed a chilling message when she finally read it. Cooper had a bomb in his briefcase. He demanded $200,000 in $20 bills and four parachutes. Once the plane landed in Seattle, the authorities, having no other choice, complied with Cooper's demands. The passengers were released unharmed and mostly unaware of the drama that had unfolded around them. The plane was refueled, and D.B. Cooper directed the crew to set a course for Mexico City. With his demands met, D.B. Cooper was now in control of a commercial airliner, a situation unprecedented in American aviation history. The audacity of his plan, the calmness of his demeanor, and the mystery of his identity all combined to create a captivating enigma. The man known as D.B. Cooper had hijacked not just a plane but the world's attention. The stage was set and the sky was his escape route. A daring leap into the unknown. That's exactly what D.B. Cooper did on that fateful night in November 1971. The audacious hijacker with a parachute strapped to his back and a bag filled with $200,000 stepped onto the rear air stair of the Boeing 727 looked into the pitch-black night, and jumped. The night was anything but perfect for such a daring venture. The rain was torrential, the wind was howling, and the temperature was near freezing. Cooper was leaping into a stormy, dark abyss, with visibility near zero. It was a dangerous affair, even for a seasoned parachutist. But the man who had managed to hijack a plane and extort a large sum of money was not to be deterred by the inclement weather. The challenges of a nighttime jump are many. The darkness can be disorienting, making it difficult to judge distance and speed. The cold air can be chilling to the bone, and the wind can blow you off course. And then, there's the landing. Without a clear view of the ground it's easy to misjudge the distance and land with a bone-shattering thud. As Cooper leapt into the night, he disappeared into the storm. The crew of the plane and indeed the world could only speculate about where he could have landed. The vast expanse of the Pacific Northwest, with its dense forest and rugged terrain, was his potential landing site. Finding a needle in a haystack would have been an easier task. And what of Cooper himself? Did he survive the jump? Did he manage to elude capture and live out his days in anonymity, enjoying his ill-gotten gains? Or did he meet a less fortunate end, succumbing to the elements or the perils of the jump? These questions remain unanswered. The FBI scoured the area, but their efforts were in vain. Cooper had vanished, leaving behind only a trail of questions, theories, and intrigue, and just like that, D.B. Cooper was gone. The biggest manhunt in U.S. history was about to begin. The immediate aftermath of Cooper's disappearance was a whirlwind of activity. With the FBI leading the charge, a massive search operation was set in motion, spanning multiple states and involving countless law enforcement officers. The investigation was painstaking and meticulous, 
Every nook and cranny of the Boeing 727 was scoured for clues. The crew and passengers were interrogated, their testimonies forming the bedrock of the FBI's case. The area where Cooper was believed to have landed was combed over by search teams on foot and in helicopters, but the dense forest and rough terrain proved a formidable adversary. Intriguingly, the search turned up some tantalizing pieces of evidence. A black tie and a mother-of-pearl tie clip, both believed to have been Cooper's, were found on board the aircraft. More compelling still, was the discovery of some of the ransom money. In 1980, a young boy unearthed three bundles of the marked bills on a sandy riverbank, a significant distance from the flight path. The cash was confirmed to be part of Cooper's ransom, but how it got there remains a mystery. The FBI threw everything they had at the case. They enlisted the help of forensic experts, employed cutting-edge technology, and even turned to the public for assistance. Thousands of leads were followed, countless suspects were questioned and numerous theories were proposed. Yet despite all this, the trail went cold. The investigation into the disappearance of D.B. Cooper spanned decades, with the case being kept open until 2016. It was one of the longest and most extensive manhunts in U.S. history. Yet, it seemed that Cooper had vanished into thin air, leaving behind nothing but a trail of baffling clues and a legend that would continue to captivate the public's imagination. Yet in spite of all efforts, D.B. Cooper remained an enigma. Speculation, theories, and the quest for answers. This is where we delve into the realm of conjecture and hypothesis, as we attempt to unravel the enigma of D.B. Cooper. Let's begin with a theory that has intrigued many, the identity of Cooper. Some believe he was Richard Floyd McCoy, a Vietnam War veteran who performed a similar hijacking and parachute escape less than five months after Cooper's disappearance. Yet others are convinced that Cooper was Robert Rackstraw, a cunning ex-paratrooper and con artist with a knack for evading law enforcement. The list of potential identities is as long as it is fascinating, each theory more compelling than the last. Then there's the question of survival. Could Cooper, equipped with only a business suit, loafers, and a parachute, have survived a nighttime leap into the frigid, storm-lashed wilderness? The FBI initially believed he didn't, citing the dangerous conditions and Cooper's apparent lack of survival skills. Yet many dare to dispute this. They point to the fact that neither Cooper's body nor his parachute was ever found. To this day, the debate rages on. Let's not forget the theories about where our elusive hijacker might have ended up. Some speculate that he fled to Mexico or Canada, while others suggest that he might have assumed a new identity and blended into the fabric of American society. There are even those who believe that Cooper, in a masterstroke of irony, might have used his stolen wealth to establish a new life right under the noses of his pursuers. In the end, all we have are theories. Theories that tantalize us with possibilities yet offer no concrete answers. Theories that serve as testament to the enduring allure of the D.B. Cooper mystery. In the realm of conjecture, D.B. Cooper looms large. As we grapple with the unknown, the shadow of D.B. Cooper continues to loom over us, a symbol of the ultimate unsolved mystery. A legend in the annals of crime, D.B. Cooper's disappearance has left an indelible mark on our collective consciousness. His daring escape into the unknown has been woven into the fabric of popular culture, referenced in television shows, movies, books, and songs. His name is whispered as an alias for the unresolved, the enigmatic, the unfathomable. The allure of the Cooper case lies not just in the audacity of the crime but in its enduring mystery. It feeds our innate curiosity, our hunger for answers, our fascination with the unknown. Despite the passage of over half a century, the specter of D.B. Cooper continues to captivate the public imagination. The case remains a tantalizing puzzle, a testament to the human capacity for intrigue, for speculation, for wonder. The legacy of D.B. Cooper persists, a constant reminder of the tantalizing mysteries that lie just beyond our reach. D.B. Cooper, a specter in the sky, a mystery unsolved.